Welcome along guys. Well I'm out on Beastie. We're out on Beastie because this could be the last time I ride this bike. Because I think it's for sale. No! I just got to get some fuel. This hasn't been started for like six months all winter. <laughs> I've come to start it. The battery's flat. I charge the battery. It won't start. It's out of petrol. It's completely out of petrol. I remember the fuel light was on when I rode it home. But it must have just evaporated what was in there. And uh, so I've had to go off to the petrol station with my leathers on and my boots driving a Vauxhall Corsa <laughs> with a can. I know I said I was selling this last year. We went through this whole thing again about this time last year. Me selling or selling the bike. But I'm just not using it. I, I just don't really like sports bikes anymore. They just they just don't do it for me anymore. They, they, they just, I mean, the, the KTM, the Duke is faster than this. It's more comfortable than this. It probably handles better than this. Don't turn it off because, because you know what will happen. I've got to see if they let me fuel it without turning it off. I think, what could I have instead of this bike? And I just think, you know, you know what? What I really fancy again is a supermoto. That's what I've been missing. That's what I love. The Duke is absolutely great, but I'm missing that low speed fun of the supermoto. It, the batteries. <sighs> I can't let you fail if you've got your engine running. Is it going to start now? Fingers crossed. Yay. So yeah, so she's uh, she's for sale, I think. Now based on this here ride is whether I decide to sell this bike. Because I'm just, you know, we'll see if this is fun, if I enjoy this ride or not. I've just got so many emotional ties with this bike, being the bike which started everything on my channel, basically. It looks beautiful, I like it. I know I do enjoy just having this in the garage as a as like a garage ornament but I just haven't got the space for that now what with normally having a bike on loan from somebody plus the Duke plus the array of push bikes and all the other paraphernalia a man needs to keep in his garage I don't have much room in there if I want something else I, I can't not only is this doing nothing it's taking up valuable garage space if I sold it, I could get something more suitable, something more fun, something I can use all the time. So, so yeah, and I'm missing now, as I say, I'm missing that Supermoto fun. And if I sold this, what I'm thinking of, I mean, I love the 701, but I've been there, I've done that. If I get another 701, then I've got to buy all the same bits I already had. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. So I'm thinking perhaps a 500 EXC, and super motoring it obviously have it as a have both options so in the winter i could do a bit of green laning on it and have all the super moto wheels as well so best of both worlds it feels like a race bike it absolutely feels like a race bike alistair fagan from 44 teeth fame has ridden it and actually on when he used to work for fast bikes and on the channel there's actually a little review of him riding this bike. It's an old, old video. <laughs> it's worth watching. Just for like the retro-ness of it. But have a look, he loved it. He thought it was absolutely beautiful. I'd much rather just have really good fun on a, on a 500 DXC. got the TransLogic IntelliShift which is a fantastic quick shifter you will not find better it's not a blipper just one way and now I've got cramp in my ass oh I'm just too old and spoiled to go back into this race crouch again I'm just you know give me a super naked any day of the week the Street Triple RS what a lovely sized beautiful bike that is I honestly think if I was in the market for a bike now, new, I don't think I'd get the Super Duke. I think I'd get the Street Triple RS as a really, really nicely sized road bike. 
you can open it up, give it some beans. Rewarding experience because you're actually you're working the engine properly. It's a lovely handling bike because it's light. You don't need any more than that. MT10 SP, MT09 SP, sorry, that was also beautiful. You don't need more than that on the road to have fun. And, and I tell you, going out on that speed trip, street trip at speed, street triple RS, damn sight more fun than coming out on a sports bike on the road. Unless you're going to come out and go absolutely banzai. So who wants to buy it then? <laughs> who wants to buy a sports bike? I'm not, I'm not much of a salesman, am I? They're just so flat as well, four-cylinder sports bikes. They're just so flat, you've got no torque. That's another thing the Super Duke has ruined me for. Oh, where every other bike doesn't have enough torque. Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. I'll be sorry to see it go. I absolutely would be sorry to see it go. But I just think I've come to that time now where it's time to move on. It's time to get another project. Something I'm going to enjoy riding more than this. Going to use more than this. It's a waste to have this just sat in the garage and no one getting to see it or enjoy it. Let's find someone to pull over. Let's pull over up here and let's just walk you through a bit of the specs of the bike which made my channel. Bum ba dee boo ba ba boo ba dee doo. Stay. Let's turn it off quick for the battery. Shits its pants. It's a 1995 Honda Fireblade frame. Uh, it's a 2005 CBR 1000 engine. <laughs> it's RC 2014 RCV fairings from the original race bike. It's custom carbon fiber tank cover, custom tail carbon fiber, OZ racing forged wheels, full titanium exhaust, well, titanium headers, that's actually uh, just a carbon fiber end can. Brembo brakes, Olin's rear shock from a RCV1000. RCV1000? Do I mean RCV? Oh God, what is it? It's not RCV, it's a RSV. RSV rear swinging arm. RSV Olin's rear shock. They're 2005 Fireblade forks. Um, all Olin start with titanium tin coated stanchions, billet Brembo clutch slave cylinder, RCS Brembo master cylinder. It's got all the kit on it, really. What else can I tell you about it? So I mean, it's it's a it's a beautiful looking bike which hasn't been used. It hasn't been shown. No one's really seen it out and about. You pull up somewhere, it draws a crowd. It does draw a crowd. You want a demonstration? You say you want to see it drawing a crowd. Oh my goodness! Okay, let's go to Lumi. See if we can see if we can draw a crowd. GPS dash, GPS data logging, can do all sorts of data logging and all sorts of fancy stuff. That dash. Um, I think about 800 quid the dash alone. So you know, there's some money in this bike. I've worked it out in bits. I could probably get about five or six grand for it in bits with all the kit it's got on it. But that's just I wouldn't want to do that. Eight thousand pounds, you know, to get you on something which is completely unique. Get you on a bike which completely different. You pull up somewhere and people go, oh, "What's that?" And I don't have a clue what it is. It's quite nice. It's quite nice having some something completely different. It's, you know, one careful owner, full service mystery. First to buy will cry. This ride has confirmed what I thought it would. I'm definitely selling this bike. So if you're seriously interested in this, I want £8,000 for it. You can contact me. I've got, if you go to my about on, on, the, on my channel, you'll see my 
email address to contact me send me a message if you're genuinely interested I mean I don't want to do swaps unless you've got a really nice up together 500 EXC in supermoto trim then send me a message because I could be interested in a swap but nothing else I don't want anything else just hard cash or soft cash oh, I'm not, I don't care okay or bank transfer it's fine PayPal PayPal's all right as long as you pay the fees <laughs> I just want the money. Show me the money! Show me the money! Oh, we'll park it up, see if it'll bloody start. It might not start, I don't know, I don't know. <sighs> if it doesn't start, it's going to be embarrassing, isn't it? Yeah, what's that swing arm off? Uh, 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 Yeah, it's quite low as well, so you're not like that. It's a lot lighter than I thought.